Hi guys, my name is Gina James Cole and we're going to take a tour of the new architect homes that have become available in Sims Freeplay. These are available from, I think, from the 20th of January, which I'm not going to get all political on you, but actually as I'm recording this, President Trump is actually giving his inauguration speech. So it is a good or bad day, depending on your, um, your opinions on that. Let's um, stay away from politics though, maybe that would be a good idea. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first house. We have 10 overall. So here is the first house. As usual with these architect homes, we're looking for anything that may be rare or worth a lot of LP or SP so we could build them and get those items. Doesn't seem to be anything in this. It's a very kind of open plan, large house. This is quite nice. It's got nothing rare though. Oh, is it a, I think maybe this is a like a, an apartment, is it? Yeah, I think it's like a block of apartments. This is nice, nothing worth any LP or anything that I can see, or any limited time items. Wow, it's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is pretty cool. Oh, there's like those flower planters there, the fa uh, fountains. There are a couple of SP maybe, or LP. Is that fridge possibly SP as well, that green fridge? I like it when, they're, when they do things like this and have like different styles on each floor. Oh, and then we have a last floor as well. That bar, the bar is worth some LPs. And that fireplace must be, must be worth some LPs, surely. I quite like that. Look at that, the style is just completely different on each floor, different windows and everything, different balcony styles. That's cool. Here is the second house, and oh, we have a balcony, not a balcony, a basement with this one. We've got an indoor pool which is pretty cool. Oh, we've got some of these. In fact, we have a lot of the SP windows there. We've got some green sofas, which are worth some SP, I think. Oh, and a, uh, what is this called? CD player thing there. And DJ booth, is that the DJ booth? I think it is. And those disco lights are maybe five LPs each, something like that. This is pretty good. Let's go down. And, oh. Not what I was expecting down here. I don't think you can get this bassinet in the game anymore, can you? So it might be worth getting it for that. And, oh, this fridge, is this the blood fridge? Maybe, but I think that is LP for that fridge. Let's go up to the second floor. Oh, we've got the wedding arbor that's worth a couple of LP, maybe seven LP, something like that. It's got so many of these windows. If you haven't got many of these SP windows, I would say it's worth it just for that, to be quite honest. So now here is the third house, and oh, I like the look of this a lot, to be honest. Um, what have we got? Anything, we've got an urban kitchen. I like this build. We've got a little Latin sun lounger out there. Oh, that is a fireplace that is worth some LPs. Oh, excuse that Instagram. And we'll go downstairs. Oh, we've got a fish tank there. And we've got another bar and a, what are they called, disco ball, which has some LPs. Upstairs to so the second floor, we've got another one of those fireplaces. I might build this just to get the fireplaces because I really like that fireplace and it is quite a lot of LP, I think. And have we got anything else? A couple of the romantic swings and stuff, but we've probably all got those. Actually, look at the build though, it's a really nice... Really nice build, I like how it looks. Yeah, I might build that just for the fireplaces. Here's the fourth house, and this is a refurb of the cinema, isn't it, that you can build within the game, I think. We've got some Chinese lights out there at the front. And um, let's go up. What have we got up here? Um nothing spectacular, I'm afraid. No, I mean, that's nothing special in that house, to be quite honest, but decent enough build. Here is the fifth house, and I think this could be built on a standard size lot. We have got, ooh, that seesaw. I don't feel like I've seen that. Is so I'm assuming it may be LPs for that. Well, this is a cute little kid's bedroom. It's got that bassinet. Correct me if I'm wrong that we can't get that in the game, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, missed call off. My mum phoned me back then, so I got uh, disrupted. She wanted to talk about um, 
Trump's inauguration speech. But anyway, again, we're not talking about politics. We're looking at these houses. So where do we go up to? So we've got... Yeah, I was saying, correct me if I'm wrong about these bassinets being in the game, but I'm pretty sure that they're not in the game anymore. We have got these fireplaces again, and this... I never know what this is called, but this gold thing here, I'm pretty sure that's LPs to buy that. And upstairs, yes, we have. Upstairs, it's a very spacious, it's not like got many decorations in, to be honest, has it, really? It's not that much upstairs, really. Let's go up. No, we can't go up again. Um, Not sure whether that is worth building, to be honest, that house. Maybe, you might like a few of the things in it. It's quite a nice design, and it's got a few LP items in it. Here is the sixth house. It can be built on a standard lot. And look, we've got a little Easter, or I say little, it's a large Easter egg out the front there. What have we got? Anything? Ooh, I don't remember seeing this wallpaper. Is this wallpaper that we can't get anymore? Let me know about that in the comments, please, because, yeah, I don't know. We've got um, a little one of those Easter egg floral arrangement things. We've got a Thanksgiving table. Let's go up and oh, we've just got a nice old balcony up on the top. The whole roof is a balcony. This is quite nice. I quite like it. I mean, it's very simple and there's not much to it, but it's quite cute. Here we are in the seventh house. So and this has to be built on a premium size lot. We've got a lot of decorations outside. Instagram keeps popping up, sorry. Just a little plug, if you don't follow me on Instagram, my travelling personal account is Greenoid Adventure. It's linked down below in the description. Go ahead and follow me. Uh, we have got, oh, we've got some of these ceiling lights. Are they LPs? Possibly. Mm, what have we got? Let's go downstairs into the basement. Oh, there's not really anything down in the basement. Let's go back up. Second floor. And what have we got? Anything? Nothing rare. No. Um, see, it's in quite a nice build. I mean, look at that. That's quite nice. But nothing rare or loads of LPs or anything, really. This is the eighth house. And this can be built on a standard size lot. And we have got anything? There's nothing rare in any of these houses. This is a disappointment. Uh, let's have a little look upstairs. Nothing spectacular. You've got the, uh, what's it called, exercise bike that was a pri limited time prize from the Seniors Quest, I think. Other than that, nothing really. And then that's it. And actually, there's no there's not many windows. It's like the front looks dead good and like it's been well thought out and then it's like they've forgotten about it once they've got to the side and definitely forgotten about it by the time they got to the back. No windows whatsoever. The penultimate house is this one, and this is ooh, two stories. Oh, I quite like the look of this. This looks quite quite nice. It is just like a big box, though, to be honest. <laughs> Let's have a little look. What is there? I think my expectations have been raised. When you get some good architect homes, or like when you really look around, you see some amazing builds, and then obviously the, you then your expectations of what you expect are raised when uh, when the builds aren't that good. Not, I'm not saying these are bad builds. I don't mean to install anyone who built these. Um, <laughs> moving on. So we've got some fish tanks, which you can't get in the game. You have to buy with real money. And we've got, I think this is a Scandinavian a CD player, which is LP, SP, one of the two. And that fridge, I think, is LP as well. So maybe it's got a few things, this. Oh, we've got another, some more fish tanks up there. And it's got one of those fireplaces as well. This is a potential that you might want to build this. It's quite pretty. This uh, balcony area out here is pretty. And it's got the exercise bike as well. Here is the last house. And, oh, straight away, I can see it's got a fish tank. Oh, I call a fish tank, so that's quite good. It's got the Thanksgiving table. Oh, more fish tanks there. And we've got an upstairs. What have we got? Uh, more fish tanks. But other than that, oh, actually, this study desk, I think, is worth some LPs. Oh, and we've got an upstairs, actually. We've got another floor. Uh, I like this. Kind of, like, got a little disco room here going on. Let me... I like this house. Oh, it's got some Chinese lights outside as well. Yeah, I quite, I quite like that. That's quite nice. Not really got anything there, but I just quite like it. 
So there you go, that completes the tour of our 10 architect homes. Let me know down below in the comments, as always, if you're going to be building any and which one. I don't think I probably am going to build any this time. Slightly disappointed, I think, in them. Let me know what you think. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon for a new video. Bye!